Hey guys, welcome to the second part of the YouTube Data API tutorial. In this part, I will show you how we get a list of all the videos of a given channel. So let's continue where we left off. In the last part, we learned how we could set up our project in the Google Developer Console and got an API key for the YouTube API. And then we also created this class here, the YT stats that could download and dump channel statistics. So now we will add a method to this class that will get the video information. So first of all, to the init, we will add a variable that will later store the video data. So let's call this self.videoData. And this is none in the beginning. And now let's get the video data. So let's add a method down here. So let's define a method and let's call this get channel video data. And this gets only self. And what we want to do here is, this will be two parts. So in the first part, we want to get all the video IDs. And then in the second part, uh, we want to get all the statistics for the videos, like the view count, the like count, the dislike count. So in the second part, we want to get the video statistics and I will leave this as a to-do for the next video so we will cover this in the next video and right now we will focus on part one how we get the video IDs so let's do this and for this we will uh, create another helper method so let's define a helper method and let's call this underscore get channel videos and this will get self and this will also get a parameter that I call limit and this is none by default. So I will explain this in a second. And then up here we want to call this method. So let's say channel videos equals self dot underscore. Um, uh, sorry, I have a typo here, get channel videos so self dot underscore get channel videos and here we will pass the limit and we will pass a limit of 50 so again I will explain this in a second and so let's implement this method here so what we need here now is the URL for the YouTube data API and Again, I recommend that you check out the official documentation here, but right now I will just tell you the final URL. So I have it here, so I copy and paste it here. So we say um, our URL is this, and all the URLs of the YouTube Data API start um, with this part. And then we want to use the search part of the YouTube data API. And of course we have to pass our API key and then the channel ID. So this is my channel ID in this case. And then we want to look at the ID part and we also want to sort it according to the date. So this is the URL and let's just um, print this. Oh, and one more thing. So we are uh, we want to do a search here and by default this will only return the five latest um, results that it found so we can add the limit um, parameter here so this is what we want to do now so we want to check if the limit is not none and we also want to check if this is a valid integer and we can do this with the built-in is instance method so we want to check if limit is not none and if it is of the instance in so is instance limit int then we can use this parameter and we have to add this to our URL so we say URL plus equals and then we have to say and max results equals and then our limit so here we have to convert our limit to a string and for that's our final URL so let's print this here so print the URL and let's save this and let's go to our 
main file that we created in the last part and here we create an object of this yt stats class and we have to give it the API key and the channel ID so this is my channel ID and let's comment this out and in, right now let's call the new function so yt.get channel video data and let's save this and let's run this so python main.py and yeah we see that this worked so here it printed the URL so let's open up this in a browser and here we see that it worked so here we have the result for this API request and we can see that it found or it returned a search list response and it found 59 total results and yeah as I said if we don't put in the max results parameter then this will be only the five latest results here and what we also can see here that it has results per page 50 so this is the limit that we have and this is the maximum allowed number that YouTube allows for one page and if there are more than 50 results then it will, will um, put it on separate pages and it will we can reach the next page with this next page token up here so this is what we have to do in a second this is a little bit tricky because we have to loop over all the pages and yeah first let's have a look at the results that it returned here so here we have an item and inside this item so this is a list and here we have the IDs that we can see and for example now this is the video ID that we want to extract so for example it starts with 5QTC and now if we go to my channel on YouTube and open up the latest um, tutorial or the latest video on my channel and by the way this is the part one of the YouTube data API tutorial series now if you open up this URL and have a look up here in the URL then we see the same ID so it also starts with 5QTC so this is the URL that we uh, the ID that we need so um, we can see that our um, API request is correct and now what we have to do is we have of course we have to extract all this video IDs from this um, JSON data and but we also have to do this for all the pages so we have to do this for this page and then we go to the next page with the next page token here and do the same thing so let me show you how we do this in our browser so for this we have to append a the next page token to this URL so here we go all the way to the end and then we say end page token equals and then I paste the page token in here and now if I hit enter then we see that we are on another page and here it has some more um, results so it has nine results on this page and now we see that we are on the last page because we no longer have a next page token here but we have the previous to page token to get back so now what we have to do is we have to do a while loop until we reach this side where there's no longer a next page token and then for each side we have to extract this video ID so let's do this so um, now let's continue implementing our um, our method so here instead of just printing the URL um, what we want to do here now is we want to um, send a get request to this URL with Python and for this we use the requests module that I imported here so let's do this and um, for this I will write another little um, helper function that will do this for each page so let's define underscore 
get channel another typo here get channel videos per page and this will get self and this will get the URL that we want to um, call and here um, we want to send the get request so I say JSON URL equals requests dot get this URL and um, now let's convert this to a JSON data because this is valid JSON data so we can say data equals and then JSON dot load s from a string and here we use the JSON URL and we have to call dot text so this will give us the raw um, text of this site and now let's extract the channel IDs on this page so here um, we start with an empty dictionary so we say channel videos equals an empty dictionary in the beginning and now let's have a look at the site again so um, here um, what we want to do is we want to first we want to look for this items key and then this is a list and here we have to find the ID key and then we have to find the video ID key so first let's check for the items um, key so let's check if this is in our dictionary so if items in data or it, let's check if this is not in the data so if items not in data then we simply return in the empty dictionary so let's return the channel videos and we also here in this method want to return the next page token that it found so here on the first page we want to return this next page token and so here um, because we have an error we simply return none and then what we want to do here so now if this is in our data and we can continue so now we can extract this and um, so we can say item data equals um, data and then the items key because this is a valid JSON data and here we converted it to a um, valid Python object so this is a dictionary now and we can access it by giving it the keys so now this is the item data and we also can right away extract the next page token if it is available and we will do this with a with the get method so we say next page token equals data dot get and here we want to get um, it's called next page token so this is the key and otherwise it will return none so this will not raise a key error if it this if it doesn't found the next page token but instead it will return the default value that we put in here so next page token will be none if it doesn't find it on the page and otherwise it is the valid next page token and now we have the next page token and we have the items data and again let's have a look at our JSON format so now this items data this is a list so and here this list has only um, no what we want to do is we want to iterate now over all the items and then again for each item we get a dictionary and then we want to access the ID key and also the video ID and now we have to be careful because here it says kind YouTube hash video but it, so this is a video from my page so this is what we want to get 
but it can also be of type, let me scroll down here, um, here. For example, it can also be of type YouTube hash playlist, so it will also return playlist IDs. So this is what we don't want right now, we only want to do the video IDs. So we want to check if the kind here is of YouTube hash video. So let's do this. So let's iterate over all the items. So let's say for item in item data. And now we want to wrap this in a try accepts block. So if there are any errors that it won't crash. And now we access the kind first of all and say kind equals item and now the key ID and then also the key um, kind. So key kind. So this is the kind. And now let's check if this is of, of, of type or of kind YouTube hash video. So let's say if kind equals equals and then the string is YouTube hash video. Then this is what we want. So here we continue. And now we extract the video ID. So we say video ID equals item ID. And here video ID. And now we have the video ID, so now we want to put it in our channel videos dictionary. So we say channel videos, and here as a key we use the video ID, and then as a value, here this is where we want to fill the statistics later. But right now we just put in an empty dictionary here, so... Here right now the important part is, is the video ID and yeah we fill this just with an empty dictionary right now and then we can return it. So here we also have to do our accept block. Here we simply say uh, let's say accept key error and then we say print um, Let's say simply print error right now. So this is not very good, but you can come up with a better message here. And um, yeah, so now if we are done, then we return the channel videos and we also return the next page token. So again, if it does found a next page token, then it will return it. And if it doesn't found it on this page, then it, this will be none. And now this will do it for one page and now up here we want to do this as long as we find um, as our next page token is none so we need a while loop and um, so first of all we can't we want to call this at least one time so this is what we will do up here so we say our videos and the next page token equals self dot underscore get channel videos per page and here I will say I have to give it the URL so this is the URL and then let's do the while loop so while um, and here as a condition um, we want to say next page token is not none and I will also put in a safety check here. So I will say index equals zero. And then I will check if and the index should be smaller than 10. So only for 10 pages. So this is a little bit ugly, but this is because I don't want to get any error here. Because if I make any mistake here and I will have a while loop, then I will make endless API calls. And I only have a limited a number of API requests per per day. So I think Google or YouTube gives you 10,000 API requests for one day, which is fairly uh, good um, and more than enough. But yeah, I don't want any errors here. And now each time here, I, I increase the counter. So I say index plus equals one. And so yeah. So this is our while loop 
And here I have to, ask, uh, to append the page token to the URL. So I say next URL equals the base URL plus, and here we say a string and page token, page token equals, and then we can give it the next page token. So this is the next URL, and then we repeat the call to the, we repeat this method. So we say, let me copy and paste this. So again, here we say self .get channel videos per page. And now we use the next URL. So, and this will return again, this will return the video. So let's call this next videos and paid next page token. So this is the same as here and this must still be the same variable because we use it here in our condition. So now it writes the next page token into this variable again and then when it reaches the next iteration it will check if this is none. So yeah, so now we have the next videos and then we want to append this to this dictionary and we can do this by simply saying videos dot update and then it updates with the next video. So this is a built in dictionary method that will put in the keys if they are not yet there. So yeah, so now this is our while loop and then when we are done we simply return the videos so yeah so now we have this method get the channel videos which will call the get channel videos per page and this is working and up here we simply call this and then we have the channel videos and later we want to append the video statistics into this um, object and then we also want to dump it but right now uh, let's simply print this here so let's print the channel videos and save this and see if this is working so let's go to the main again and let's clear this and run this python main.py um, there's an error so here I have next URL plus equals page token um, yes so here I have to put in a plus so plus the next page token and save this and let's give this another try and it may take a few seconds and yeah so there we have it and we can see that we have all the video IDs that we wanted and as a value right now we have an empty dictionary so this is what we will do in the next video but for now yeah we can see that this worked so here let's also check how many um, videos we have so let's say print the length of this object print the length of channel videos um, and let's run this again. Then we see that it found 55 videos. So here we can see that it also searched in the next page. So not only in the first page with 50 results, but it also had a look at the next page. And yeah, so this is correct and this is working. And then I will see you in the next video where we will finally extract the, the statistics. So yeah, see you then. Bye.